Are you glad to see Philip Schofield back on TV? 0207 862 is the number you need. The TV presenter announced on social media he will return to our screens on Monday night as part of Channel 5 series Castaway. He's going to see Philip reflecting on his past while living on a desert island. He was, of course, a staple of daytime TV as the co-host of This Morning, but left his role after more than 20 years due to what he called an unwise but not illegal affair with a younger co-worker. Before we chat about this topic, let's take a look at a clip from the show. I've been cast away on a desert island completely on my own. All I have is camera gear and I can say whatever I want about whatever I want. It's my chance to tell my side of my story. I know what I did was unwise, but is it enough to absolutely destroy someone? See, I, I can't work out how you would produce this show because what if he just goes to, onto the desert island on his own and doesn't say anything for two weeks? I don't... But he's obviously thinking out loud, is he, Christo? Yeah, and I think that... Look, the question is, am I glad, happy to see Philip Schofield back on TV? I'm not sure I'd say I'm glad, but I think that there is an audience for it. I think the audience will decide, by the way. It's absolutely up to whether someone wants to switch on or switch off. And I think a lot of other TV bosses will be looking at what Channel 5 is doing and seeing how it rates to see whether anyone's actually yeah. interested to see Philip Schofield I think a lot of people anymore. watch it. Yeah, yeah I, I think they will because I think they want to hear what he's got to but say. They may, they, may not, has... they may not watch it approving of it. That's a different thing. But they watch it because he's, he's been away for a while and we're wondering if he's OK. Yeah, but what I think they, they've done correctly is that they have not brought him back in a show where he's glossing over what happened, glossing over the scandal, not talking about it as if it never happened. He's not, he's not being reborn, basically. Mm. It is specifically focusing on that and the marketing and the materials about it, he's saying, you know, he's he's having a come to Jesus moment, let's say, while he's <laughs> alone on that island. Mm, yeah, and, and I, I was surprised that if, if he came back onto TV, I thought he would blank what happened in the past. Clearly he hasn't done that. So Joe in Buckinghamshire, are you going to watch it? I most certainly am. Right. You like Philip? I love Philip. He gave pleasure to millions for years and years, he made a mistake. He didn't murder anybody. He made a mistake. Give him and his family a chance. Yeah, it was funny the way it all ended because it, it's. I think it started with that thing where they jumped the queue to the Queen's um, lying in state. So there was that and they got some bad publicity. And then it seemed that on behalf of Holly, people started briefing that Holly doesn't work with, want to work with Philip anymore. And you could see he was just basically shut out. And then the scandal happened after that. So it was, it was part of a sequence. Somebody seems to have had it in for him, Joe. Definitely. Without a shadow of doubt, I agree with you. All right. Well, listen, I'm glad if you're going to enjoy it. That you take care. Thanks for watching us as well. Yvonne in Flintshire, hi. Hello. How are you this morning? I am well. Do you want to see him back on TV? I definitely do. I think he was a, he's a tonic. <laughs> So, OK, so everyone here has said the same thing so far, which is that we, whatever he did, it's water under the bridge and we forgive and forget, correct? That's correct, yeah. Is there a limit to that? So you could go across to the case of Hugh Edwards, for example. No, that's totally different. Tell us why. Um, he's, he's actually hurt somebody. Um, not directly, but um, by doing what he did, he was actually allowing children to be abused. Oh, for sure. Um, the, the crime end of, yeah, the crime yeah. end of it. But the first, yeah. the thing that cost Hugh Edwards his job initially was contact with a teenager that involved Hugh paying the teenager £35,000 for explicit pictures. I guess that's different from what Schofield did, is it? I don't know. Well, I, I think it's also about the type of presenting you're doing, especially you know, if you're a news presenter and you then become the news, it's really difficult for you mm. to then come back from that. Same as, as, as uh, Schofield on This Morning. You know, that's... This morning are always, we're a family, this is what we're all about, we're, we're on your side. Viewers have to buy that, and they stopped buying that when they found out uh, what, what was going on, even though it wasn't illegal. And I think that's why this is a very smart show for him to be doing. Well, I think their relation, this, these two are seeing now their relationship broke down. And so, so much, I mean, I feel sorry for Holly as well, because she now has left the show as well. I think she could, wanted 
him on board. So on, on your point on forgiveness, I think forgiveness is about has some caveats to it, and it's 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 how he comes across in this, mm. and whether he's apologetic, whether he realizes he's made a mistake, as to whether he's got any future beyond this on TV. Ivona, are you still there, my darling? I am. Yes. Yeah. I was I was looking on uh, the social media last night, and of course, it's absolutely vile. And then I thought to myself, and it was all comments on, you know, uh, talking about paedophilia and stuff and all the stuff that he would hate the association with because not suggesting that he committed any crime of any kind, but people point out he met the runner and he was very young. And I just thought that Twitter is not the world. You know, you've got a very good heart, Yvonne, and social media makes us think that everyone hates everyone else. I don't actually use any social media. Um, well, that's why I you're a nice person. <laughs> Seriously, you don't don't. Even, I'm not even going to say you should have a look at it. It's awful. It's it's it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like revolting last night what they were putting down. They were saying this is the island where he's been shipwrecked, and they have a shot of the Epstein Island and stuff like that. Just, I mean, it's disgusting. Good luck to him. I hope he comes back. Veronica in Liverpool. Hi. Hi, uh, hi, Jeremy. Good morning. Do you want to see him back on your screens? Yes, absolutely. I don't think he actually ever should have been taken off in the first place. He was, really to, to, be, to be technically correct, ITV did a kind of inquiry into what was going on and, and he lied to them and that's why he lost his job. So you could say they were within their rights to sack him. But again, that feels yeah. like a long time ago now. Yes, yeah, I agree with that, but I don't, I don't see that he actually did anything wrong. Apart from obviously he lied, um, I don't, you know, his private life at the end of the day was his private life. Yeah, and, OK, you know, I'm, I don't want to be the only one who's, who sounds a sour note here, but but he's the presenter and he's having a d dalliance with a runner who's right at the lowest level. And it's that's yeah. the problem, isn't it? That's a that's yeah, a gap. That's... He's got power. So the runner can't really say no, because he thinks if I say no to Philip, I'm going to get uh, the sack. Right. And, and that's 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 the issue, that, right? That's the, it, it's three things. It's the abuse of power difference. It's the age of the runner when they first met. It was potentially taking advantage. What are all those things? I think at work. I think individually, people are forgiving all of them together. I think meant he he did have to go off air. It's just whether it's forever, and I think mm. that forever is a bit harsh. I was kind of amazed at the amount of manure that Eamon Holmes dumped on him. There must have been some previous there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he gave a series of extraordinary Don't interviews. I think they were friends. I suspect we they were not friends. I'm, I'm not coming to you a lot during this. I don't know whether this is your thing. Um, I, I, I have to be honest with you, Jeremy. I have never watched any of his no. programs, but I understand that he's very, very beloved by people. There have been I've seen people saying, "Oh, there is, there are very few presenters uh, quite like him." So let's see what he makes of this. The, well, the, the other thing that happened. I mean, I did actually follow it very, very closely at the time. And the other thing that happened that was what they would call a black swan event, which was so utterly, unbelievably weird was that his brother was suddenly locked up for serious crimes against one or more children. Oh. And somehow, although that wasn't Philip's responsibility, it, the cloud from that moved uh, over to him a bit. Yeah. I, and, I, and he also had to give evidence in the case. It was just a shocking case. And I think that's absolutely fair. So it wasn't just one single event. It was the culmination of all of it and... It was, and, and he was wrong. He made mistakes. I mean, let's not sugarcoat it. He was wrong. Absolutely. It's just whether there is coming back from that. And I think, as I said, it's got to be whether he apologises. Does he have any humility? Does he acknowledge that he was wrong? And I think if he does, there's a chance for him. And he, and he has been punished. I think punishment is helpful in a way because it means people can then relaunch. Chell has commented, I think this is on Facebook. From a different standpoint, Chell says this, he abused his power, so no. He may not have done anything illegal, but he's definitely taken advantage of those in lower positions than him. Plus, he lied to his family for such a long time. Yeah, the lying to the family bit, I'm always reluctant to get judgy about that. But again, how would you be able to interview mm. someone on this morning who came on with a family secret mm. or that kind of story they'd cover yeah. while he was presenting? He couldn't stay at this morning. But then are we going to say, look, you, you, you told your wife this morning you loved her. You clearly don't. You're sacked. Is that the basis that 
Is yeah, that a lie I, as well? I think it gets very, very complicated when you come to the way that people are dealing with their affairs. And now I'm going to say something very controversial, but what if, for example, you know, in a marriage there is uh, uh, an expressed agreement, personal agreement between the couples that, you know, they will remain married for whatever reason, perhaps their children or, or their family, and while they have a personal life. The public will judge them if they... But they have an open that. marriage. Yeah. They have a right to do well, that. They have a right to well, no one's been deceived there, have they? I think the idea is if you lie to your wife, you can't tell the truth to the viewer. And that's what it is this morning with but, the family, and that's what it was all that it is sold quite, itself on. That's a high old standard. My wife's not watching that. <laughs>